all plays should feature toplessness and dancing. We're so often let down on that score. Not with this production. There is both. I'm uh, uh, hugely relieved and impressed. It is, I would say, like my dinner parties, both entertaining and harrowing. My desire. It's funny. It's sharp and shocking. Well, I'm, I'm, I really enjoyed it. It was very, very. A lot of it was very, very funny, but fundamentally, it's quite sad and and bleak, like life. There were very few pieces of theatre around that time that dealt with gay life, so it's. Uh, I would really recommend everybody come and see it. Well, it's very warm and it's very funny. Outrageous, um, touching, and fun. It's incredibly powerful. It's incredibly sharp and brilliant and funny and truthful, I would say. It was an extraordinary evening and a, and a great bunch of actors uh, doing a really extraordinary play. I had no idea this play was as old as it is, you know. Uh, it's almost as old as me. What I am, Michael, is a 42-year-old, ugly, pockmarked Jew fairy. If it takes me a while to pull myself together, and if I smoke a little grass before I can get up the nerve to show my face to the world, it's nobody's goddamn business but my own. And how are you this evening? <laughs> Hysterical, dark, moving. It's a terrific piece, and, and Mart is a, is a wonderful writer. The play has some kind of mysterious, I don't know what it is, some sort of magique to it. Let me tell you your love.